Hi, my beautiful Geminis. This is Nayla Latrice, and I am here to do your monthly read for the uh, month of October. So we are going to jump right in. I have a lot of cards I am going to uh, pull for you guys. Um, what I was getting before I, uh, when I was meditating for you guys is work life balance. So I feel like you guys need to balance out your work and home life. And also I got Aries. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with the Aries. And then I also got car. So I'm not sure if some of you guys are going to be purchasing a new car. I'm hearing car trouble. So some of you guys may be having car trouble and need to purchase a new car. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Geminis for the month of October? All right. Kiwi, do a walking meditation each day for the next week. So with this card, I feel simply that you need to get outside and connect with nature um, so you can connect with yourself. And I also feel even if you're not able to go outside where you are, the point is to do a meditation. So whether that is you sitting quietly um, and actually meditating like that or it could be you coloring or drawing doing something that is meditative for you that is getting you kind of um in a trance state i feel that you guys need to go into um or just something to calm you and to relax you down uh, to relax you down i feel like um you guys need clarity on something there's something that i feel like you guys need clarity on and uh your thoughts are clouded and um you guys won't be able to get that clarity unless you begin to meditate and tune in and tap in to your um, higher self. So we have fourth chakra angel, sh fourth chakra archangel Raphael. You guys need to, again, you guys, uh, spirit is telling you guys to connect with your higher self because you guys need to learn to open up your heart. Your heart is very closed right now. And when your heart is closed, um, that is how you give and receive love. And therefore your method and your channel of being able to give and receive love or anything else for that matter is closed and blocked off. So if things are not working out for you right now um, in your life, spirit is telling you it's because your heart is closed and you need to connect with your heart space and learn to open up your chakra. OK, so you can wear green, you can eat green foods, you can listen to um they have different meditations on YouTube as well that you can just um, listen to. Connect with Archangel Raphael as well. Okay. And Archangel Raphael will help you to, um, to open up your heart chakra, your heart space. But you also have to make sure that you give permission. You have to give permission to, to spirit, to your angels, to your team. Um, they can't just uh, take over. You have to make sure that you're connecting with them and that you do give them, uh, the angels permission to come and work on your behalf. Okay. We have evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. There's somebody that's around you that is trying to, uh, trick you for lack of better words someone is trying to give you uh, sugar or excuse me someone is trying to give you salt and call it sugar so I feel like there's some people um, that, that's in your life that you need to evaluate and see who they are um, that, you know, I feel like during this month of October, you need to really take inventory of the friends. I feel like this is a friend. Mm hmm. It could be a family member. I'm hearing cousin for some of you guys, but I feel more so this is a friend. You have a friend that's around you and it could just be that they are kind of jealous of you or they want your life or something like that. I'm not going to go in too deep with that, but do know that there is someone around you that is not, um, they're, they're, they're not who you really think that they are. And it's nothing horrible. But it's just um, watch how people are talking to you. Listen to the words that people say to you because people try to say things that are really slick and um, they try to cover it up as, oh, I was just playing. No, we don't play like that over here, boo. OK, so just pay attention to people's speech and how they talk to you and how they interact with you and listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. OK. And being around the wrong people can uh, block you as well because you have negativity around you. Yeah, you definitely have negativity around you. And you need to be able to connect to find out and see who these people are and be courageous enough to let them to tell them where they need to go. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Geminis? What messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini? Ah. We have use your hands. So I feel um, far as also how I said you guys can color or do something to get you guys in a meditative space or to help you guys just to calm, uh, be calm and to relax. I feel like you guys can use your hands with something. So in this um, example, she is doing pottery. Um, I'm also feeling that um, I have a friend who's a Gemini as well. She's a um, she bakes cakes. So just do something that you can with your hands uh, to allow you to see see your creativity side I'm also hearing paint so some of you guys also may need to paint but do something that is going to calm and relax you to help you to get into a better space to be able to recognize um, the truth the, the the truth of what is really happening and going on in your life spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini's what messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini's I do feel like there's some truth that does need to come out. And I feel like that is going to be what you discover as you continue to connect with yourself. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini's for the month of October? What messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini's for the month of October? You guys, let me know where you guys are watching from. I love to see how far across the universe I am able to reach. If y'all from Mars, let me know, baby. <laughs> we have feeling safe. Sali. Sale. S-A-U-L-E. Um, if you want to look her up. Guest station. Life is conspiring in my favor. I am safe and it is safe to be safe. Immediately, I feel the sun with the way that her hair is. So I feel like you have bright, good times that are on the horizon for you, especially once you let go of the negativity that is around you. As once you open up your heart space, then you will really allow um, you're really going to allow things to flow towards you. And that is when you will really start to see things change in your physical environment. I feel like some of you guys want to move is what I'm hearing. Uh, some of you guys want to move. Um, into a brand new space or some of you guys are trying to manifest a brand new space. I'm seeing a brand new home or a brand new kitchen. Um, that is what you guys are really worried about, uh, having a nice kitchen. So I feel like um, that some of you guys are wanting to move. Some of you guys also may be wanting to move because you don't feel safe in the environment that you are in. We have goddess of fire. I give big love and it boomerangs back greater. Um, we have, how do you share your personal power and resources? Do you give back with money, time, or material goods? You confidently advance towards your future when you are able to love and give without conditions. Embrace this thought with the fiery lightning energy of Yoruba goddess okay this are uh, oya yoruba goddess so connect with oya oya and look her up as well um but that goes back into this heart space that we just talked about um how are you loving others and how are you receiving uh, uh, love as well? Um, so I feel like you really need to work on your heart space open up those sh that heart chakra okay and once you do that, again, it comes back. I just, I just said, I just got done saying that. Once you put out what it is that you want, then you're going to get it back. But you have to clear out what is not working for you. OK, I feel like there's some things I'm feeling like there's some things going on that you really don't know about. And you have to you have to tune in to figure out what that truth is. Yes, you guys are in your own personal power. I love this for you guys. And this is um, fire energy. So, again, I said Aries at the beginning of um, the read. So, um, again. 
again, you guys could be dealing with an Aries, but I feel like you guys are finding your personal power or spirit is telling you it's time for you to find your personal power if you have not tapped into it fully. I feel like you're trying to manifest and whatever it is that you want to manifest, you can manifest, but you have to make sure that you are focused on the right things as well. You have all the tools that you need right here in your hand. This tool is all you need. This tool is all encompassing. It's like your magic stick. This is your magic stick. And I just looked up and it was 1010 10 on the um on the timer, okay? So, um, I also feel like you guys need to light some candles. You guys need to get quiet and do some rituals. Again, you guys need to tune into yourself. Give yourself time, Gemini. I feel like you guys are focused on everything but yourself. You need to really um, create a sacred space for you is what I'm hearing. So whatever you need to do to be able to create a space for you, um, whether it's in your closet or um, it's in a corner in your room, find a space for you that you can just go to and retreat and fix it up really nice. Put some shelves in the corner or um, put some... Um, some different type of pictures and decor create an intimate space an intimate setting for you okay i'm also keep hearing entrepreneur so um i feel like some of you guys are entrepreneurs or you guys may be wanting to start a brand new business spirit is saying to tap in to see what your purpose is so you can get on the journey of starting your own business okay i'm hearing coach some of you guys may be coaches or teachers as well and I'm hearing kids, so definitely some of you guys, I'm talking to a teacher or a coach out there that works with children. But whether you work with children or not, um, Spirit is telling you, what did I say? Spirit is telling you guys to, um, to connect, to tap in, and ask what it is that you are placed on this earth for. And then listen for the answers. And as you continue to open up your heart space, those answers will flow even more easy to you. That way you have the guidance necessary to move towards your goals. But I feel like you guys need to focus on becoming an entrepreneur. Know that everybody on this earth has a purpose and you need to fulfill the purpose that was given specifically to you to fulfill, okay? I told you there's some toxicity around you. Somebody is trying to give you salt and call it sugar. There's something that you need to walk away from. It could be even a relationship, but there is somebody around you that does not have good intentions. They're trying to manipulate you. Gemini, you need to get grounded so you can see the people that are really in your life. And then what did I say about the sun card? Then I just say earlier that this reminds me of the sun and then we have the sun that pops out. You have to get rid of this negative person. They are blocking your blessings. They are making your heart chakra stay blocked because you can't see. I feel like you are so wrapped up and so engulfed with this person that you can't even see that this person is no good for you. They are really wearing a false mask. So you're really going to have to go within, ask spirit to guide you and help you to help you understand who this person is so you can get them to fuck out your energy so you can get to this. Because this is waiting for you. You deserve this happiness. And this is also letting me know that I keep saying the truth is going to be revealed. There's some type of truth that is going to be coming out in the month of October. And I feel like it's going to be this fake person or fake people that are around you. But something is going to be revealed. The sun card is shining a light on all things evil that is around you. This sun card is going to reveal the negative people that are in your life. OK, so you just have to continue to stay tuned and you have to continue to look. You're going to cut people off. You're guarded. I feel some of you guys already know who this is. Some of y'all, this lets me know, some of y'all already know who it is. You just have to let them go. I feel like you're afraid to let them go for whatever reason. But you have to let you have to let the toxicity go. Unless that's just what you want in your life. You do you. I'm not judging, but you're you're afraid to let this negative person go. And I feel for some of you guys, you guys already know who it is. You guys already know. And I feel like you guys have already been looking at them with a side eye. And you already been looking like, mm-hmm. You say one more thing. 
you shouldn't even give them the chance or the opportunity to say one more thing because what they said was sign enough S I G N. It was more than sign enough to let you know that how many comments are you going to let them make towards you? How many times are you going to allow them to continue to say negative things or get away with negative acts towards you, Gemini? You need to let this person go. Cut it. Cut it off. Your personal happiness is at stake here, okay? Yeah. I'm going to leave your... I feel like there's one more card in here. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Spirit, what... Give me one more card for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini for the month of October? One more message for Gemini, Spirit. One more message. I feel you in here. I feel you. Come on. Uh, they're going to give you some type of advice to help you move forward. I mean, this was advice enough, but there's something else that needs to be said. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my beautiful Geminis? What else do you need them to know? You guys, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you are new, welcome. And I appreciate you watching this video. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can be added to the family. All right. That, that's too many. Um, but with that, I do feel like somebody is holding on to you. They're giving too many. One card, Spirit. One card. Somebody is holding on to you. They don't want to let you go. Somebody does not want to let you go. But the person that doesn't want to let you go is somebody that's toxic. And I keep hearing friend. I keep hearing friend or foe. Spirit, one more message from my beautiful Gemini. There we go. Look at what popped right back out. Y'all know who this is. I'm done. Y'all already know who it is. And I'm hearing they're jealous of your money. You're sitting pretty and they are jealous. You have somebody around you that's jealous. You need to figure out who this person is. If you truly don't know, you need to go within, ask your guys to help you and guide you. But they're jealous of your money. I feel like you're making money or you are you have a lot of good money making ideas or either it appears to them, even if you're kind of like, uh, what money, what money are you talking about? Because my bank account says zero, zero, zero with the negative. <laughs> Whatever it is you're doing, they feel that you have money or they feel based upon your conversations or maybe things that you are saying to them that you have a lot of money and they don't like it because they don't know how to get the money that you have when they need to be worried about themselves and they need to heal themselves and they need to focus on their own life and build their purpose and so forth um, within themselves. But instead of them doing that, they are more focused on you and what you have. Okay. But yeah, again, y'all already know who this is. So go on and block this person out, okay? I am going to leave your read there, my beautiful Geminis. Again, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment below and let me know how this resonated for you and also where you are watching from. I am in the beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina, the South, baby. And then if you want to book a personal read, you already know what to do. You can click the link down below in the description box. And oh yeah, if you are new again, please subscribe to the channel so we can have you added to the family. Bye, Gemini.